Hi, I'm Gary Boitler from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Check out what the municipality and the residents of Midland, Ontario are doing to reduce their water footprint and support Canada Water Week 2012. Hello, my name is Gordon McKay, Mayor of the Town of Midland. I was opposed to telling you many good things that happen here in our town with water conservation. I thought I would personalize it to how I control my water footprint. I like to garden and we use an awful lot of water as we water our lawns and water our gardens. So always check your soil and don't use more than half an hour on your dry lawns. And I've been working on reducing my water footprint by getting involved with awareness groups in my community. Groups like Simcoe Heronia Association for Renewable en Energy, Transition Town Heronia, um, the Midland Community Gardens, and also uh, Zero What I'd like waste. to point out to uh, everybody right now is the, our metering program. We have... Uh, since 2005, we've been installing what's called R900 radio read Neptune meters. What this gives us is the advantage of being able to look at the reads each month or quarterly, whatever way uh, your meter is being read, and it'll give us a flag if you happen to have uh, a leak in your system so we can be proactive and let you know that uh, you might have a problem and you're, you're wasting water and paying an excess. Make sure rate. you cover your pool to avoid evaporation. I'm astounded how many gallons and gallons, thousands of them that go into creating a new car. So in the long term, when it comes time to replacing mine, I'm gonna buy- This is a water feature that the town operates and it works off a recirculating system. It's a 3,000 gallon tank in the ground and the water is recirculated on a regular basis and so we don't have to use municipal water all the time. It works off a float system that just tops up the tank when needed and in the future we're looking at possibly using bay water to uh, even lower our footprint that much more. Use low flow taps, toilets and shower heads. I actually think that I have a little bit of room for improvement in terms of my water conservation and I was very surprised to find that most of our um, water usage goes to agriculture and the production of what we eat. So I think one of the big things that I do is um, have my own vegetable garden at my house because that really cuts down on um, irrigation systems because it's just me with the watering can. But one thing I need to do get a rain barrel. Part of our water initiatives within the town is here at the North Simcoe Sports and Recreation Centre. The new incentive is what we've done. We've utilized the electronic sensors that you see above me here to my left that turn power onto the lights when people enter the building. What we've done is we've ele sent electronic signals to the water valves to isolate the water supply to hot and cold for the washroom facilities. What this does for efficiency is that when the players are in and they're utilizing the room and the shower and washroom facilities, when the players leave, we try to avoid the accidental issues of having the taps and that left on. And what happens is the sensor will go out and shut the valves down to the supply for the hot and the cold along with the lights, allowing for water efficiency. Turn off the tap when brushing your teeth. Here, my partner and I have decided that we're gonna use a rain barrel in our garden so we don't have to use a hose to water our flower beds. We're going to use the water that we collect from the rain falling. Town of Midland runs a toilet rebate program, which replaces high flush volume toilets with low flush volume toilets. Uh, there's a $75 rebate for any resident who changes them out. Uh, to this point, the Town of Midland has exchanged 138 toilets with a savings of 2,000 litres per day. I will be reducing my water footprint by not buying clothes I don't really need, because it takes 100 gallons of water to grow and process a single bit leaky tap and toilet. Year, during Midland's home show, we began our rain barrel initiative where we gave local residents rain barrels to use. Um, we encouraged them to use recycled rainwater for things like watering plants, flowers, and washing carts instead of using the municipal drinking water system. We're hoping this April to be as accessible as last year and give away another 150. All right, so some of the things that I do to lower my water footprint are um, I have a low flow shower head, um, low flow toilets and energy efficient um, washing machines. I don't eat a lot of meat or dairy um, and we do little things like when you're brushing your teeth, turn the tap off, uh, when you're washing your dishes, make sure you put a plug in the One sink. One thing I've learned about uh, water is that it takes as much water as doing 70 loads of laundry to make one laptop. So from now on, I'm going to think about that before I buy a laptop. To save water, I keep a pitcher of water in the fridge. A small pail in my sink, and when I'm rinsing fruit and vegetables, 
any water actually that doesn't have any grease in it, then I save it in the pail and feed it to the plants indoors in the winter, outdoors in the uh, Here we, uh, we've been re reusing our uh, treated effluent water to water our lawns and wash down equipment. And we've just put in a fill station so that we can hopefully in the near future uh, be watering in the parks, washing roads and flushing sewers with it instead of using uh, potable water. Use a rain barrel for outdoor water. Eaves troughs installed on my house where there were none and have purchased uh, four rain barrels so I do not use a water hose at any time and I have a vegetable garden with lots of potatoes and other veggies and lots of flower gardens. I also leave my bath water in the tub and use that for hand washing as uh, well as uh, brushing my teeth. I use a glass of water instead of letting the tub the tap run. We're here at the North Simcoe Sports Recreation Centre to show you one of our recent installments here at the centre. Last year the town put in a bottle, water bottle filling station which as you can see reduces any waste of water because it comes out the perfect temperature. This is a convenient and free economical choice for the patrons that come to the, the sports centre and on an estimate we probably fill about 100 a night. Reduce shower time. Don't buy anything you don't need because water is used to make everything. By not buying things you save water and water. Measure how much water you're giving your lawn by putting a frisbee in the middle and when the frisbee's full, your lawn is done. My name's Logan. I'm going to teach the kids at the elementary school I volunteer at to turn off the taps. I'm going to recommend to my customers to stop buying their bottled water in these small disposable bottles and switch to getting in a reusable water jug like this. These small bottles take seven times as much water to produce as they actually hold. Also, I'm going to suggest customers go to a high efficiency water softener like this one. That will save, uh, that will save over a thousand gallons of water per year. Thanks for watching.